Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be telling you the exact trading plan to be using right now. I'll be giving you the exact targets for the next trades coming up, what I am looking for and how we can be approaching this together to absolutely continue to crush these charts and extract very nice amounts of profits. Uh, I'm really looking forward to making you this video. I think you're gonna absolutely love it. The technicals, the knowledge, the insights that I'll be sharing with you, you're gonna walk away positive, happy, and basically more informed. And that's exactly what I want you to be, informed and ready for what is to come next. So yeah, let's get straight into the analysis. As always, I'm gonna pick it up here where I left off my last video covering the past 24 hours of price action so you understand the context of what's happening right now, the range that we are within and how we are looking to trade that next. Uh, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. It's gonna be a very good one indeed. I do know, by the way, we're getting a lot of altcoin volatility right now. Altcoins, of course, provide a lot of opportunity. I am very much trading altcoins again. And uh, you know, <laughs> if you enjoy this one, let me know down below and I can bring you an altcoin video next week. I'm definitely prepared to do that. Starting off here with Bitcoin, of course, though. Uh, my baby, my love. <laughs> and uh, picking up where if I left off my last uh, public YouTube video for you all. And uh, <laughs> common occurrence here, a few videos ago, this video, you know, I'm go continuously coming here with extreme confidence telling you Bitcoin is going higher. Bitcoin will make new highs. And in my last video, once again, Bitcoin is going to make another new high. Uh, where at the time, really simply, I was looking for that high above 30,480. Do you want to slow this down a little bit, calm it down and make sure you fully understand everything. This is going to be a professional analysis. So, okay, really simply, let me educate you on a few things here so you can understand the full context of this trade. Lovely to see this, by the way. Okay, so really simply, I come in here with a lot of confidence and you know reasons built behind the chart. So we are going to be making a new high here. You know, it's like I was also saying on that video, but also of course always within the group, making it very clear this was from 3 a.m. in the morning as we were starting to see that lovely break of the triangle. You know, 3 a.m. all hours of the day you get my updates. <laughs> You know, really simply telling my team remaining long and chill on Bitcoin, long and chill, no shorts, expecting higher, still bullish, following my plan and do my daily live stream updates, right? Coming in here every day, doing in the work, putting in the effort. Really simply, I found the next area of interest for me was a swing failure pattern of 30,500 for a short trade entry, okay? At the time, of course, we had not hit 30,500. So I'm still bullish, I'm still long, and I'm still following my plan and expecting another new yearly high to be made. And from that, I can judge the reaction. And if we get the right reaction, well, then that's a short trade from 30,500, right? So I'm laying out the plan to the upside of what I'm interested in. And then I wanna show you this and talk you through a few posts so you can see what I'm looking at before it happens live in the time, right? There's no hindsight here. This is all information given out first to the champions group. So if you want to get that information first, you know where to be, chart champions. Uh, so really simply, I gave this as our local internal range at the time, okay? So I had enough data to understand, okay, now I have enough data to take my next trade. So I had taken a range, and this is what we call very early, um, you know, finding a range. This is, this is what you want to be to be ahead of the curve, to be ahead of the competition. You want to find out patterns and analysis, you know, the best levels to trade before everybody else. Because now this sideways range is absolutely clear as day, right? But this was found before everybody else two days ago now, okay? So I recognize this as our sideways range. And really simply, I tell my team, you know, the, the trade here from now is really simply a short trade off of 30,500. Now, I'm not going to be trading around here in the middle of the channel. I'm going to wait for 30,500 for the short trade entry. And for a long trade entry, because of course I'm recognizing that's the short that I'm going to take. And for the long trade, we had this really nice CC off of a double bottom at the time of $30,000. But at the time, I'm still looking for higher. I'm still looking for that new yearly high. If we get the drop to 30K double bottom and we get an SFP off of that, well, that's a long trade. Bring it up to the U, new yearly high target, which would be 30,500 for the short trade entry, right? And well, this is really simply, you know, here making it very, very clear, you know, want to see it come up here, make a new yearly high, take out 30,500, drop it back down to take out this double bottom here at $30,000. Okay, so I've understood the short where I want to be getting into based off of the reaction. Okay, this is simply our high here off of the high of our channel. 
Okay, from there I can be looking to bring it down to around thirty thousand dollars. Okay, so what happens next? Well, exactly as predicted, <laughs> you know I wanted to see thirty thousand five hundred. I wanted to see a new yearly high. I was extremely confident we're going to be making that high, and we did make it. Okay, we got the swing failure pattern. So of course, asked asked by my group, did I take the short? Of course I did. Yes, I have took the short because we got a swing failure pattern. Okay, simple swing failure pattern of thirty thousand five hundred. Like I've you know I've made you all very much aware of. That's my trade. That's my target. Okay, thirty thousand five hundred SFP is a short trade entry. We've seen the swing failure pattern. That's the short taken. Okay, I want to just show you this on the five minute chart really quickly of what this like looked like. So this is the channel that we had marked out. So you can see here very clearly, this is our sideways channel. Okay, so just so you can fully understand this, making it very clear, range high, range low, range high, range low. This is still the same channel. I'm gonna just bring it up to the 15 minute chart because now of course we have more data, but it's still the same channel. Okay, there's the swing failure pattern. Okay, that's the swing failure pattern, what it looked like in the time, understanding that's the short and Really simply trading the, the trading the charts and trading the reaction. Short trade entry. I did take that short. Okay, what happens next? Well, remembering where I said my next targets would be, we had the next targets built off of uh, the double bottom to the downside of taking out $30,000 for the long scalp. This is only a scalp trade, quick trade, but that's our next long opportunity off the 30K double bottom, okay? So we can see how this progressed next. As I just add on, a very easy reminder, that's the 30K double bottom, okay? This is our 30K double bottom, this low to this low, that we wanted to be seen taken out with an SFP. We got the SFP, okay? What happened next? Well, we got a rise off of that SFP. Where did we get the rise to? Into the CC. That's Fibonacci from high down to the low here. We come into the CC to the exact dollar. This is what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I put in the work, I put in the efforts, I'm putting in statistical work to find out the best levels. And once again, um, yeah, the CC held there to the exact dollar. Golden pocket players, <laughs> I salute you because the CC was the top there. Um, we put in the hot top at the CC, okay? And I'll just continue to talk you through what I was then posting in the group, okay? Reminding you that was the long opportunity. Our short was off of the SFP. We saw the SFP, that's the short trade entry. We come down, we come down, we come down. Very nice take profit off of the VWAP. And then we get the long trade entry where there's the double bottom taken out. There's the wick. And yes, that is an SFP off of 30K. And that then is our long trade entry. What happens next? Well, we get the continued rise here and we come up into the CC Fibonacci level. Okay. From that CC Fibonacci level, we get a pullback to the downside. And for me, I made it very clear. This 30K scope long is now fully closed. Okay, I'm keeping the short trade open. Why am I closing that long? Because although it's not really been invalidated yet, I want to actually see the range low taken out. Okay, we start to make our way down, but we haven't quite taken the range low here. We actually started to form some bullish divergences down here, but I wasn't going to long it. I was aware of the CPI data and everything that we had coming in. And for me, I, you know, I'm looking for the biggest opportunities, which then would be another take of the range low, right? And well, what happened next? Ladies and gentlemen, just as we swing fair pattern the range high, we come down here, didn't take the range low, formed a third touch setup of the high, okay? And then from here, we swing fair pattern the range low. So then you can see real, real, real simply here, how from the original analysis, I gave the only targets of interest, which for me, the swing fair pattern of range high, you know, swing fair pattern of range low, and of course, the $30,000 intraday setup. From there, we get move on to get the new yearly high, swing fair pattern of $30,500. Take out the double bottom low of $30,000. Move up into the CC, move down to range low. Don't quite get the SFP, so for me, there was no long trade entry here. We got a rise to the upside on the CPI data to the exact minute. Uh, third touch setup, retracement, and then bam, that's what I was waiting for. That's the swing failure pattern then of our range low. Increase, third touch setup, and here we are right now. So if one listened to my analysis, paid attention to the range, understood the best trade entries, can now be sat in a short from the exact high of the move and a long from the exact low of the move. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you get in the absolute best positions like this? Well, of course, it's recognizing that range before everybody else. 
understanding the best trays are from the overall range high and low. We had intraday setups for the sculpt trays off of intraday levels, moving up to the CC, that's another intraday level, right? So we have the intraday you know, trays to be taken, but the best trades, swing failure pattern of high, swing failure pattern of low. We move on to swing failure pattern the high and swing failure pattern the low. <clears throat> no reason to close those trades yet, so you can be sat still in the long from the low and still have this short open from the high. When this range breaks out, of course, that trade will close and let the other one run. This is what we do at Chart Champions to get ahead of the curve, to lock in profits, you know, and put yourself in this position where you are profitable with whatever is happening next. Okay, so that's the walkthrough. How long? 10 minutes. So that's the walkthrough of the past price action. Okay, I really hope you've understood that. You understood the insights. You understood how I recognize that before everybody else. And, you know, the, the intraday levels, the bigger swing trade now potentials and the internal range here that we are trading. Really hope you've understood that because that is the core of my analysis is what I'm doing every single day. And this is how I am beating the market and, and making profits. So, you know, very simplified. I, I suppose I've made it here, but that's that's good. I can simplify this, make it easy to understand so you can you yourself can really integrate this into your trading strategies. So as, as promised, I'm going to now start to look at what is happening next, okay, uh, here on the Bitcoin chart. So, of course, we are still range bound. Uh, before I talk about what's happening next, one quick announcement. As I mentioned to you, I'm, I will do an altcoin video. I've already got this plan and I will release the altcoin video next week. And that altcoin video, by the way, will be released on our other channel, which is the CC Pool channel. So make sure you subscribe to the CC Pool channel. Of course, I'll still release videos on this channel, <laughs> Chart Champions. But that CC Pool channel, I'm going to you know, start releasing content to. And the altcoin video will be released on that CC Pool channel. So make sure you go over, subscribe to that channel, tick the notification bell, and you'll get alerted as soon as that video goes live next week. You know, I'm going to be releasing a few videos to this over the next few weeks. And maybe not so much on this channel. Um, because I want to just release a few on this channel, basically. So, yeah, make sure you go over and subscribe to that one, and that's where you get the altcoin video um, next week, where I'm going to specifically be talking about staking, okay, and the altcoins of my choice of selection. So, yeah, that's to look forward to as well, and you can get that over on the CC Pool channel. That's all I wanted to mention, and now I will talk about what I'm looking for next. So, you know, my Pacific uh, way of trading this is, once again, I, I still do hold that short from 30,000, 500 and the long off of the SFP of the low. Okay, if you missed these quick SFP moves, you did have third touch setups and third touch setups, by the way. So there would definitely be an opportunity within this range, very, very well respected range. Okay, so my style of trading this, and I can also, of course, bring it to people that haven't taken those trades. You know, maybe you're not in the group. And so I personally will hold on to this short and hold on to this long. If we break up from this range high, of course, I'll close that short trade. <laughs> um, I'll close that really simply and then look towards the value area high. Or I can look simply for another SFP of this high, right? Because if we get another SFP of this high, or just like this was an SFP of this high, I can look for another short trade, okay? Or onto this value area high. If we break up from here, I really believe we can be heading towards like $32,000, $33,000. You know, this is, this is our next key level to the upside. If we break this, you know, this is looking really, really nice indeed. Like just continue the uptrend. You know, everything's everything's fine and dandy in that regards. We just simply continue the uptrend. And um, yeah, this is a key level to bubble us. We can, of course, get another short trade off of another SFP or failed auction onto the value area high of our previous range. And if we break out from that, yeah, I'm really looking towards 32,500, right? Um, so really simply, that's our next level to the upside. It's not that difficult. I, I, I cannot make it more complex because it is as simple as that for me. This is our range. That's our next level. If we break that, I'm actually looking for a large increase in price. Okay, simply put, if this range breaks to the downside or we take the highs once more, you know, we come up to, let's say, 31,000 back into the range and it looks like a, you know, a larger failed auction, well, then we can start to understand the break to the downside here. So the break to the downside offers a lot less uh, levels of interest, okay? Because of the fact that we've moved up so quick recently, basically when you move up really quick, when, and you know, it will come at some point that <laughs> you know, pullback happens, pullback's likely to be a large percentage because the quick move up has not left so much support. Of course, we're still in the uptrend right now. 
everything's brilliant. But when this does turn around, whether it's here or whether it's from higher prices, when it does turn around, the move down will be quick. So this is something you have to be prepared for, you know, on longs, for example, this long, you've got to have your stop losses set, trading them up into profits is also nice. And locking in a first take profit percentage is always nice as well, right? Protecting yourself. And so if and when that, you know, that large drop to the downside comes, you know, you've, you've at least made profits on the rise to the upside. And if you could have been in a head short, even better. It's just for me, there's not a lot of support here to the downside. So bulls really are, con you know, very strongly, you know, putting in SFPs here. Like this was a major, major, major level. Because if you don't SFP here, you know, it's very bearish. But, you know, we got the SFP, so you got a long trade setup. Uh, but if we do start to break down from here, you know, our next support is all the way down at around $28,000. So, you know, you're talking about a large decrease in price. So it's something that you do have to be aware of that there is just not a lot of support that's built up. Um, of course, we can still look for SFPs of either side, but for me, it's just bringing your attention to the fact that there isn't you know, strong support. This is minor levels, but there isn't strong support that we've built up recently because this move up has been very quick. For now, though, of course, we're still in the uptrend. Everything is, is still fine. We've got this sideways range to be trading. We know if, if we SFB or, S or failed auction the high, well, this gives us another short trade. And of course, that short trade would be closed. If we break up, then that long trade can still be running. But if we then start to break down from this range, well, of course, we will close that long and look for a larger decrease in price. So for me, it's really simple, the analysis here. We got the, still the side, same sideways range from a few days ago. Reminder, we've already had an SFP of the high and an SFP of the low. Early to the range, early to the profits, you're comfortable with whatever happens next and you can be in this position of short from the overall high, long from the overall low. If you want to be ahead of the curve, if you want to be in those best trades, you want to be in profits right now, well, Chart Champions is the place where you're going to get that analysis first. Here we are on YouTube and I'm explaining to you, those are the trade, trades of the range. We're still in the uptrends. We are got this sideways range to be trading. If we break up, absolutely perfect. We know our next level is to the upside. If we break down, it's fine. I would personally expect a larger decrease in price you know, for our next support, which is down at around 28K, right? So for now, it's a time to be calm, collected, in my opinion, looking at Bitcoin, but also aware of the opportunities right now on altcoins, very large moves. I, I think altcoins are, are very, really, you know, really ripe right now. Um, so yeah, that's something to be aware of as well, the altcoins. Uh, my last Champions live stream, by the way, was on altcoins. So if you want to know my thoughts on altcoins, then the last Champions live stream was dedicated to altcoins. But I will do a video once again for that in, in the week. And I will just say this to end, like, if you are getting distracted and losing focus, if you are having like just way too many levels marked out, too many ideas, you know, you've got analysis paralysis, you, you, you're really losing focus, you, you can't concentrate, you're losing your confidence, you know, you're just losing too many trades, getting distracted, following too many different ideas. Well, really simply, I can make your trading world a whole lot easier. Short, quick, concise, daily trading updates, okay? Coming in here this morning, for example, come in here, 15 minutes, give you the exact levels, give you the exact plans, okay? As you can see here, a lot of people come in here, tune in, clear, concise, brilliant. If you want that concise, brilliant info, well, that's where you can get it, over at chartchampions.com. It's where you can educate yourself with our materials and our courses and our modules from beginner to expert. You can get the journals to help you plan out your trades efficiently and correctly. You can get the cheat sheets and the journals and the templates. We've put in all the effort to really help you along and kickstart your trading journey. Okay, as long, alongside all of that educational content, of course, you have the daily trading updates. You have the Elliott Waves, right? You have the uh, daily trading updates. You have the group of the myself and the coaches where we're giving you our plans before everybody else. So if you want that information, you can get it at chartchampions.com. And I really believe I can help you out a lot to just, you know, make it simple, easy, understand, clear and concise trading biases, clear and concise trading updates. You know, I'm just coming in here, telling you my plan, telling you my bias and explaining what I am looking for next. So if you want that, you know where to get it. Simple as that, chartchampions.com. We've made a lot of improvements. And of course, we continue to improve every single day, listening to all your feedback and uh, yeah, continuing to crush the charts. It's me signing out here as we get in this lovely rise here. So uh, yeah, let's pay attention to the next high. 
And I just want to wrap it up there and say thank you ever so much. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Check out the CC Pool channel. Uh, I'll leave the, uh, leave the links down for that down in the comments down below, I suppose. That's me signing out. Cheers, everybody. If you want to see more, chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much. And boom. Thank you and goodbye.